What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Brittany Rose, right now. So we are about to bleach the knots on this frontal. As you can see, this is a 26-inch um, body wave by Sensational and a Human. It's 100% human hair and process. So let's get started. Uh, we won't be having any music for real on this uh, video because they keep like... Tell me about copyright claims and all stuff like that. So I'm just gonna get started. Um, make sure y'all can see that. Give you guys on the side view. So now I got my BW2 um, lightener. Then I got my uh, 40 volume developer that you'll mix in. This is a 4x4 four four lace, so we don't need that much. You'll mix both of these into a little applicator bowl. And it comes with an applicator brush. Well, mine did, but you can get it individually or you can get it like a set. So all you do is just cut open the applicator powder. Not really doing it on camera because I got the camera mounted up. So all I did was just cut it open. This is the BW2 powder that everybody like to use. And I just pour it in here. And she don't really need that much. I'm doing this wig for a client, by the way. But you want to make sure that your um, bleach is like a toothpaste consistency, not too much. I'm going to pour some 40 volume developer into a little cap, as you can see. I'm going to start with this amount. It's a half a cap. I'm going to start with this first and see what our consistency is like. You just pour that into your applicator bowl. Got to make some music. <laughs> and so you'll begin to stir it. Put the top down. You'll stir it. It should look like this. As you can see, it'll be a powder first, and then once you mix it, it should start to look kind of creamy. And see, that's too chunky, too creamy, so I'm going to put some more 40 volume developer in there, into the cap. I want it to get as creamy a toothpaste like as possible you don't want it to be too runny because if it's too runny then it's going to seep through the lace and then you're going to have bleach on the hair cuticles and you don't want to bleach the hair but you do want it to look toothpaste like so kind of about there i'm gonna add a little more powder to it so that way I can control what I'm bleaching I can control the consistency on the hair see like that right there you don't want it to really kind of drip and be super you want it to be kind of thick so you can control it So I added a little more in there, like so. You wanna be careful not to get the powder everywhere.
you see how it doesn't really drip it just kind of sit that's kind of about how you want to get it and I'm gonna add a little more powder just to make it more of a thick consistency I like the thickness of it more so than the creaminess of it because like I said you can control it Especially on units like this. I just added a little more powder to it. See, now it's giving us that toothpaste substance. And I'm probably not going to use all of this because, like I said, or if I, if I didn't say what I'm saying it again, um, this is a four by four lace closure. Hopefully I can get enough footage and my camera don't go out because lately I've been having to do like part one, part two on my YouTube videos and stuff. So it's coming along though, y'all. I'll get it together soon. Just stick with me and watch as we grow together. So yeah, just like that. Where it won't drip or anything, you got straight control of the substance. That's how you want it to look. And sometimes it can be a little strong. So, you know, if you don't like, like, strong smells, you might want to wear, like, a face mask or something to kind of cover your nose. So, we're going to start out on her edges, which is her hairline in the front. I'm gonna pin all of this up. So like a little banana clip or whatever. I'm just gonna put a light paste on her edges. Just enough to cover the knot. And I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can. Um, and then I'll probably take pictures of the after process because I have to go and wash it. And I'm not really sure how I hold my camera and wash and do everything at the same time. So, <laughs> I don't know. But this, by this being a 40 volume developer, you won't have to leave this on, but probably approximately like approximately 12 minutes max because a 40 volume developer will lift and strip the hair faster like more faster than a 10 volume developer or a 20 volume or a 30 volume developer So you want to make sure you kind of apply it kind of fast, like so. That way everything can be on kind of at the same time. And
You know, I'm gonna get my edits and stuff together soon, for real, for real. We're gonna be able to have some music and all type of stuff. <laughs> some little instrumental playing while I do this. But until then, you gotta make up some music in your head. <laughs> Or turn some music on or something while you watch me <laughs> help a sister out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to check the time. Matter of fact, I got me a timer right here so I can go ahead and just put that on and I can see about how long I have it on there. I'm going to go ahead and y'all can kind of make up some music while it's ticking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe y'all can kind of hit a tick and make some music, make a beat. If y'all rap, if y'all sing, <laughs> that's so funny. And see, it's already changing really fast. And it ain't even been nothing but probably like eight minutes on one side. And see, with this unit, it's also got a back to it where you can pull it up into a, like a ponytail. So I'm going to bleach this little part too. Be careful not to get hair on the bleach. I mean, be careful not to get bleach on the hair. If you get a little bit on there, just pull it off real quick. Trying to maneuver in a way where y'all can see each piece, each portion. only want to bleach the part that has knots so I have to lift it up a little bit so I can see where the knots begin and they just kind of lightly around the side See the knot start here. That's where the knot started. If you if I raise my hand above, you can see the knots. You don't want to get no bleach on the hair.
See, like the front is already done. I can feel it. <laughs> I feel like the front is already done. So I need to hurry up. Because this video shouldn't be too long for two. It's all right if you get the, uh, the the bleach on the lace, just don't get it on the hair. And as you can see that those knots in the front have already been developed. Make sure they lift up off of the hair. All right, I'm going to show you guys an example of the front. As soon as this time will go off, it'll be time to wash it out. But the front is already developed, as you can see. Let's try to get the lighting in a way where y'all can see how that front is already kind of turning brown. You want to make sure each knot is laced. I mean, each each knot is laced. You want to make sure each knot is bleached. So even if you have to go back in and make sure the other knots are covered, do so. But be mindful of your timing and the consistency of how much you put on here. Like you got to be mindful of all of that. All right, see, it's bleached all the way around. Like I said, it's okay to get bleach on the lace. As y'all can see, I got a little bit on the lace. I don't know if y'all can see that. I got a little bit on the lace right there. Just don't get it on the hair. And if you get it on the hair, just quickly wipe, wipe it off. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna leave that part lifted up so it don't touch the hair. Matter of fact, I might lift every side up so I know for sure that it's not touching the hair. Because see, if it touches the hair, you have to go back in and correct it. And that's what we're trying to avoid. See, 
see little pieces like that where it's on the hair, you have to wipe that off. Because we're not trying to bleach the hair, we're just trying to bleach the knots. But that comes from the consistency and the milkiness of the 40 volume developer. That's why you want it to be like toothpaste and not cream or liquid. So the timer say we got about less than five minutes. But I might go ahead and go ahead and wash these out. I just want to make sure that back get, you know, everything that it need. But who knows, you know, she might not wear her hair up in the bun or whatever. I don't know how she going to do it. I'm just doing the lace for her. But our main focal point would be like the hairline. We want to make sure the hairline is bleached so that it, that it can be customized to the liking of the client. All right, so that's all. What I'm going to do is wash this out and I'll be back. And I guess you guys just have to see part two. <laughs> I have to make a part two. See you guys soon. Eh, turn up. No music, but still, whatever. <laughs> Let's go.